Hi there YouTubers. Today I'll be showing you how to check the valves on your four-stroke engines for proper seating after they've been replaced. Sitting beside this little Honda Z50 is because often you have to replace the valves in these little engines and it's very crucial that after you do this that you check the valves for proper seating or else your bike will not run and I'll show you how to do that. Now this video here will apply to all engines with overhead valves. So meaning that the valves are inside the head. It's not going to apply to engines with a flathead like the 3.5 Briggs & Stratton classic lawnmower engine. So basically, these are the valves here, and this is where they're seating over here. The small valve here is the exhaust valve. The valve on this side here is the intake. Usually the intake valve will be larger than the exhaust valve. The problem that's happening with this head here is I've replaced the valves in it then sent it to another shop through the customer to get the seats cut out of it so that they would seat better and there's still a problem and I just want to show you guys how to check this for sure. So make sure you have a good lamp in your garage like this then basically what you want to do is put the valves to the light and what you want to do is look inside the hole here to see if you see daylight and you do on this one you can see the little shiny spot over here and if I put my finger you can see the light go out and you can see it better off camera but you should not see these little specks of light now if I check the intake valve I don't see any daylight so I know for sure that that valve is seating properly but there is a problem with the exhaust valve the problem with this is if you try cutting the seat again for the valve to sit deeper you may damage the whole head and it becomes no more good. So there's a possibility that this head is a bit warped and no matter what anybody does to it, it's not gonna seal the valves properly. The other option too is that even though it is a small crack like that, as long as it doesn't stop it from starting, there's a possibility that the valve will pound its way in and seat itself in there properly after running for a while. So we'll have to see what happens but I just thought I'd show you guys how to check your valves after you do a valve job on your engine so after you've got your head ready to put in always check the valves like that because you can go through all the work of putting the head back on timing the engine and so forth and then you go to start it and won't start no compression because the valves aren't seating right what happens when they're not seating right like that and there's a small crack is the compression escapes out the valves and it's not creating enough compression in the engine for it to start. So you're going to crank and crank and crank. It's never going to start. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.